Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at the Better Random Teleport plugin. Better RTP allows players to teleport to a random position within a fixed border. You can set a central dead zone where players are not able to teleport to. You can also blacklist certain blocks such as water or lava to make sure the people don't die on teleport or immediately get stuck. Optionally, it can also work with a lot of other different plugins. For example, grief prevention, which we already done a tutorial on. So the plugin will also make sure that people don't just teleport in the middle of someone else's claimed land. There are quite a few commands and permissions that we'll go through. I'm not able to show everything. I will show you the basics of how to get the plugin working with permissions. I'll show you a few live examples of the plugin working and some of the options that you have. And I'll quickly explain how you can use this in combination with Tabex. So you can offer several things to players once a package has been claimed or a purchase has been made. All the links to the plugins or pages that I'm using in this tutorial will be in the video description. When looking at the plugins folder, you can see that I have better RTP, which is the main plugin we're looking at today. I also have Essentials X. I don't think we will use this in this video. I also have lock perms to make sure that we can set the permissions properly for groups and for players. And I also have vault because Essentials X and lock perms need it to detect groups and use it as a dependency. So let's first look at the help. So let's do slash RTP and then help. And since I am admin or operator, I don't have to set any permissions to do this. We will, however, look at the permissions a little bit later on in the video. So we can do slash RTP and this will randomly teleport us. So let's try this slash RTP. There we go. It tells us our new coordinates. Inside of the configuration file, we can set minimum and maximum distances that it will try to teleport players to. So we are at 600, 800. Let's do this again. So let's just do a random teleport again. And as you can see, we are now at 383, 305. So it's not teleporting us too far away. Of course, depending on what kind of server you're setting up, you might want to change these minimums and maximums. We can also RTP to a specific biome. So let's do RTP biome. We can see all the different biomes that we can teleport to. And these are two separate permissions. So you can dictate what players are and aren't allowed to use the biome variant of the RTP command. Let's do a desert. Let's see if it can find a desert for us. It will probably take a little bit longer. Well, it's still searching. No. Okay. Well, let's try a different biome. So let's try beach. Can we teleport to a beach or are we are some sort of island that nothing is in the range that we currently have set? Maybe we need to change the range before we try to teleport to a biome. Oh, well, we found a beach. It's not that far away from the other location that we were at. So I think our range is just too small. We will look at this once we dive into the configuration and start messing with those ranges. We can edit the plugin settings right from the inside of the game, which is not something we will do. We will actually go into the configuration and then use the reload option to reload the plugin and make sure it loads those new configuration files. If you're an operator or a moderator with the proper permissions, you can also RTP other players. So let's have a look if this works on ourselves. Let's do player, Tabex Academy. We want to teleport to the world. Um, let's do a forest. That should be possible. There we go. So it, it's still the same effect since the other one was also for ourselves. But as you can see, you can send other people to a RTP in case you need to. It might be funny to do this on a friend to just randomly teleport him somewhere else. I would not recommend doing this on actual players since you'll very quickly kill your own server. Let's go into the configuration file and see what kind of options we have. Inside of the plugins folder, let's go into better RTP. Let's open up the config.yml. So as I said earlier, it can work with a lot of different plugins. A same example, if you wanted to look at grief prevention or honor those areas, change this to true. Or if you use any of the other plugins, change it to true, and then the plugin will keep those claimed areas in mind while trying to teleport players to a random position. You saw a few times that it told me that there were no safe locations. You can set the maximum tries here. The higher the amount, the more it will take from your server. The more busy and the more players you have on your server, the lower you probably want to set this number if you're experiencing any performance issues while players are teleporting around. You probably want to set a pretty high cooldown on it as well. Instead of having people run the command normally, 
you can also just one time teleport them on their first join. This way, when they join the server, they will automatically get random teleported to a safe location. If you then, for example, disable the RTP command or don't give them the permission to use it, it's kind of like when you create your own server, you get randomly dropped in the world. You don't have any influence of where you're gonna start and you just have to deal with surviving in your location. And to further lock them in that that is their space, you can also set that their new location is immediately their world spawn. You can set a cooldown, which is by default enabled. So every 600 seconds, you can do a RTP and you can also give them a max use. So if we set this to three, they only get three tries to find a location that they like. There's also a delay here. We can specify what biomes are allowed. It says here, if it's empty, all biomes are allowed. When going to chunk base and only selecting biomes, clicking highlight biomes at the bottom, you can scroll through and see what kind of biomes there are and also get a little bit of a feel of how rare a biome is. For example, Badlands is a lot more rare than forest, as you can see here. Depending on how many people you are expecting to play on your server, and also, once again, what kind of server it is. If it's a faction server, you probably want to give people a lot of space in between those land claims. So let's say 10,000 maximum, 1,000 minimum. There's also a list of blocks that you are not allowed to teleport to. A lot of these make sense, so you're not stuck or just instantly die. If there's anything else you want to add, just add it to this list. And players will never be spawned on that block. If you have different worlds, you can also put them in this list and then people are not allowed to RTP out of those worlds. There's also permission groups which are disabled. I will leave this disabled. You can enable these and for example, offer the VIP group through Tabex. We will use permissions to enable access to some of the features, but we will give everybody the same minimum and maximum amounts. If you want VIP to have a bigger minimum and maximum range, you can enable that right here and give people the proper permission to trigger these different settings. I'm going to save this right now since I did change the max and minimum range. Then in game, I'm going to do RTP reload to reload the plugin. And it says an internal error occurred while attempting to perform this command, which is never good. Let's see if we have an error on the server itself. That doesn't look good. So connect it back to the server. Let's see if we do slash RTP so we are a lot further away than we were before. And those new minimums and maximums are definitely working. So I will open up my second account and then let's look at some permissions. So on the left is my admin account or operator account. And on the right is my normal player account. If I try to do slash RTP, it says, sorry, you do not have permission to use this command. So what if we want to give this player on the right access to random teleport? So we can see here, better RTP to use will allow us to use the slash RTP command. So let's copy this. Then back in the game on my admin account, I'm going to say slash LP for lock perms and then editor. This will give us a link. And when we open this up, we can make changes to our permissions. We can go to groups and here I already created a VIP group. If you don't have any groups yet, you can click on the plus here, call it VIP, display name VIP, and that's the only two things you really need to fill in. We already done other videos on parents, suffix, prefix, and weight. So I will not explain those at the moment. We will just use the VIP group that I already created. Then at the bottom here, we can add a permission. So I'm just going to paste, not double, once, going to paste it right here. Click on it to have it selected and actually add it to our permissions. And then we can click apply in the top right. That will sync the permissions from the editor to the actual server. Going to user, Ted Pommes. You can see we are already in the VIP group. If we want to add ourselves to the VIP group, we can just click the plus and then also apply to the server. As you can see up here, we also need the better RTP world and then whatever world we want to teleport in. So under VIP, if we do better RTP world world and also add that to the list and apply to the server slash RTP, you can see we can now teleport. Oh, I moved my bad slash RTP. It says five seconds cooldown. This is what is set in the configuration. And there you can see that we are now teleported using the minimum and maximum range that we set earlier. If I try to do better RTP biome, you can see it already doesn't complete for me. 
it says, sorry, you do not have permission to use this command. So we just go back again. We search for the biome, 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 biome. You can see here, better RTP the biome allows you to use the RTP biome. So we're just going to take this, go back to the editor inside the VIP group, select the permission, add it to our list, and then apply it to our server. Let's try again. Biome, you can see it now auto fills for us. Let's try beach. Oh, and it says you cannot RTP for another eight minutes and 21 seconds. So let's say this is VIP. We don't want to have that limit or cooldown. We can see here better RTP bypass cooldown. So we can just same thing, add it to the list and add it to the server. The exact same command. You can see we are now suddenly able to do this because we have the right permissions. So you could also bypass delay, bypass economy and bypass hunger. So let's say we set up our VIP group. How do we offer this through Tabex? We have a tutorial on how to run in-game commands once a package has been claimed. I will link that in the video description. The only thing we do need to figure out is what is the command to add a player to the group once a purchase has been made. So on my admin account, I'm going to say LP for luck perms. I'm going to say user. The user I want to change is Ted Pomas. I want to set the parent. I want to set the group. So I only have one group. The group I want to set them in is VIP. And that's the only thing we really need to do. Hopefully this shows you the basic use of better RTP, explain some of the use cases where it makes sense, and also show you how you can configure groups exactly how you want to using the permissions and also the config file. And then also how you can offer it through Tabex using the parent command. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.